Hello there, uh, this is Timothy Dolan, a uh, long-term policy impact specialist uh, with some commentary. Uh, this is circa October 8th, 2018. And uh, of course we've had an ongoing drama. I mean, every day seems to have been a drama. But uh, the recent episode uh, concerning the appointment of Judge um, Kavanaugh has uh, now come and gone. And uh, this comment commentary really will now focus on political strategy moving forward. And again, taking a, um, a short-term, long-term view in that uh, with the 2018 midterm elections coming up in uh, less than a month now, and then also with an eye towards the 2020 elections, uh, one of the things that we know uh, in the political science community, from which I have uh, originally come, is that uh, once you have a majority that is victorious on a landmark issue, and uh, certainly the Republican conservatives slash evangelicals have been lusting for uh, a Supreme Court to their liking now for well over a generation, and uh, have been actually the better futurists in that regard because um, they stuck with it, they kept their focus, and now they've got what they wanted. They've got an entire branch of government and are likely to hold on to it for a while, barring some imaginative, creative machinations that the Democrats could do, such as expanding the number of court um, uh, members of the court. Um, there is precedent for this. Uh, there used to be five members of the Supreme Court, there used to be seven. Uh, the number has fluctuated uh, over the many years. It has never been constitutionally mandated to be 11 members of the court. But we'll leave that aside and get back to uh, maybe the electoral side. When a, a majority, as I've previously mentioned, uh, achieves an objective, then invariably uh, the latent factions that have always made up any political party um, come to the fore. And uh, there is also a tendency to relax, uh, to do those victory laps, and to um, salute each other with mission accomplished. Um, what this means is that I think both for the midterms and the 2020 elections, um, barring an unforeseen uh, circumstance like a bad candidate on the part of the Democrats, I think we can expect great gains. So uh, that's my prognostication. Of course, one of these is very short term and one of them is also short term within the time frame the futurist works through. But let's see if this one goes through. It's my little political science based uh, observation. And uh, all I can say is uh, for those who don't like what's going on, take heart and by the way, vote. Thank you.